So for the extra things that I have in my pack, um, I'll direct you to this corner of the room. First of all, I always carry trekking poles. Um, I used to make fun of these when I was younger, but I'm not younger anymore, so I really like them. In fact, trekking poles uh, take about maybe a third of the load off of your legs and knees and transfer it to your arms, which is a great way to get an arm workout. I really like trekking poles. They can also double as uh, tent stakes or tent poles if you have a certain type of tent. I always bring with me a, a laser pointer. This laser pointer is a green laser for looking at stars at nighttime. Um, I think that's one of the real thrills of uh, being in the backcountry is looking at the night sky. And uh, we should always have a good opportunity in early August to look at some of the meteor storms that come up that first week in August. So I always bring a laser pointer with me. That's again my personal thing. Um, I have uh, one thing I've learned to, to carry, depending on the how heavy my pack is, is a um, this um, stool. So it's a nice stool it sets up, and you've seen these before. You can they're not terribly heavy, but they're also not the lightest thing in the world. I'm not recommending this. I'm just telling you what's in my pack. And these stools are pretty nice. Uh, allows you to kind of set things up and get in your campsite and um, break out your stool, break out your sketch pad, maybe or a book if you're reading, or if you want to do your personal devotional, um, if you're reading the scriptures, you can just sit here and get your get your stool out, and uh, it's just really comfortable. If you have a stool, it's kind of a point of uh, jealousy for some of the other hikers, so beware if you're the one with one and uh, your friends don't have it, they're gonna, they're gonna be hounding you. So here it is, easy to set up, very comfortable. So I'm gonna actually sit in that right now. And then the last thing I have here that to me is a real highlight of being in the backcountry is my fishing gear. So I'm gonna bring a set of flies for the for fishing. I'm gonna bring a, a reel and here's my lightweight rod. I probably won't bring the container for the rod, but here's my, my rod here. And uh, you know, if you wanna borrow a rod from someone, that's nice, or you can, you can pick up a fairly inexpensive rod, or you know, some of the adults will have rods that they can, that they can loan you. Um, some of the places you'll need to have a fishing license for California. But I always bring a fishing, uh, my fishing gear. And then the last thing I'll bring, uh, two things here. One is a, uh, a, a large water container for the group. This allows me to pick up a large amount of water from, the, from a lake or a stream, bring it up to the campsite and let everybody kind of draw water from that to filter their water. Um, then I also bring some stuff sacks. So this is a waterproof stuff sack. I have three of these. Um, I'll use one for my clothing, I'll use one for my sleeping bag, and then I'll, uh, maybe an additional one, I'll, I'll put some other items in. Um, but that's my um, compression sack for some of my clothing. My backpack here, as I get this packed up, I'll show you uh, how it works out. But this is my pack unweighed and empty. So this is what it looks like. Let's show you now how we pack things up.